I got knocked out and I had to take some time off writing so the only logical thing to do was try and get TikTok famous in one week. All of the things we're taking cause we are young and I think it's important to note a few things before we start. First of all, I know nothing about the TikTok algorithm. Secondly, I don't know what is classified as quick growth on TikTok. And keep in mind that equestrian is a very specific niche, so I don't know what contribution that will have on growth rate. Thirdly, I'm a normal human who doesn't have a pre-existing large following. I've seen a lot of famous YouTubers do this trend, but the issue is they're already famous, and because they already have a large following to us normal folk, their couple of hundred thousand pre-existing followers most definitely qualifies them as famous on any platform. So, to put my anxiety and low self-esteem aside, I jumped in and <laughs> created a TikTok account. <laughs> Day one, I was quite motivated and excited to see what all the hype was about, and I began creating some videos. This is the end of day one. Okay, so on the side of the screen is my phone. I have made six TikToks. The first one I made is just kind of like a test thing so I could get used to making a video because I've never made a video on TikTok. And it's just of when I went to Akaroa. So I'm gonna post that one. This is making me genuinely nervous. I don't know why. Sure, that's good enough. Post. Oh. And of course the internet is going to take forever to post this. Oh, it's a nice uh, staple thing that they've got going on here. Honestly, if I'm not TikTok famous when I wake up tomorrow, I'm going to be really disappointed. Okay, first TikTok is uploaded. The next one I'm going to upload is my YouTube intro because that seems to be most appropriate. Uploaded, why did that one take so much quicker than the other one? Am I TikTok famous yet? No? Awesome. Okay, next one. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Okay, next one. That's hurting my head just watching it. Sure. Post that one. I thought TikTok was easy to get views. Is this on private? Did I not put it on public? Private account. <laughs> uh, that's probably why no one is seeing anything. Because it's on private, you idiot. <gasps> We've got three followers! Oh my goodness! <laughs> I'm TikTok famous. We shall continue with our posting. If I'm being completely honest with you, I'm not that happy with how this one turned out, but hopefully the people on TikTok will be forgiving. We'll post this one as well. I am wondering now whether I should have spaced these out over a period of time um, and not just posted them all at once. And I'm also wondering if there was like an actual correct time to post or like a best time to post TikToks. No views, no views, no views, no views, no views. Solid effort. Man, I had such high hopes and now I'm just being crushed. <gasps> One person has viewed it. I am famous. To be honest, that's probably me that's viewed it. Any likes, any likes, just one like. Just one. No? Nope. 18! <gasps> 18 views! Whoa! <laughs> Out of 18 people, do we have any likes? 20! <gasps> it's going up! It's starting. I can feel the fame. It's coming for me already. I'm getting ahead of myself, aren't I? Yeah. 26! 26 views! It's going up, Dex! It's going up. He's just staring at me like you've literally lost the plot. So day one, I was kind of just getting a feel for how to edit and like testing the waters of what hashtags were good to use, what sort of content people liked to see. And I didn't really put that much effort or thought into 
the videos that I was making. On day two, I checked my phone in the morning and I saw that we had reached 156 followers. Again, I don't know whether that is a good amount of growth or a normal amount of growth or a really like low amount of growth for the first day of posting TikToks. I'm just an average gal and I'm comparing myself to these big YouTubers who will most likely get recognised because they have hundreds of thousands of followers already. But anyway, carrying on with day two, I did some research and kind of put a little bit more effort into the TikToks that I was making. Good morning, it is day two of the challenge and the most viewed video has 1,345 views and the least has 160. I'm just about to go outside now to film some more videos. The type of videos that I'm gonna try and film today are kind of just like easy and simple edited videos that really do not need much editing if that makes sense. But uh, let's go outside and start filming. Why will my flash not turn off? That's so annoying. <laughs> okay, it's now four o'clock in the afternoon and I am going to post today's TikToks that I made. This is the first one. I'll put it on the screen now. Obviously, I can't have the actual sound on it uh, because... Copyright. Cool, cool, cool. Now the next one is... Yeah, we'll go this one. Check the cover of it. Yep, post. I don't know if it's better to be spamming or if it's better to post them far apart. On day three, the behind the scenes was kind of getting a bit boring and repetitive, so I didn't really film anything. But I think it's important to note that I did get a little bit braver with the content that I was posting. I showed my face a little bit more, and the type of TikTok that I was kind of going for held the potential of being quite cringy. On this day prior to making any TikToks, I also watched a video on YouTube which kind of explained the TikTok algorithm and kind of gave me some tips on how to enhance the potential to grow on TikTok. As a result of watching this video, I made a duet. It included someone who is famous on TikTok. There were some non-horsey children who for some reason got semi-offended at the video that I made, but I wasn't worried because their commenting was helping TikTok promote my video, so that kind of worked in my advantage. On day three, we finished with a total of 350-ish followers. Day 4 started with gaining some more followers, which was a pleasant surprise. I then watched some horsey TikToks to get some more ideas for content that I could potentially film. Overall, day 4 was quite a productive day. I made my favourite TikTok on this day. Of course, if you want to go watch it, my TikTok is Tabitha Hope with two underscores. 
a uh, little shameless self promo. It was gonna pop up in this video. But anyway, the TikToks that I did post, they all did relatively well considering my follower to view ratio type of situation that was going on. On day five, we woke up to some more growth as we reached 544 followers, which was pretty cool. And the TikToks that I had posted on the previous day received a lot of activity, which also helped with growth. These factors definitely helped enhance my motivation for making more TikToks. But I think it's important to note that I was running into the problem that it was hard to think of ideas for TikTok that didn't involve riding videos because remember I can't ride because I have a concussion. The following morning I also woke up to 632 followers which again is a good amount of growth in comparison to the previous days. So overall can the average gal blow up on TikTok? Yes. Did this average gal blow up on TikTok? No. But that's okay. It was a fun experiment to try, but I think if your sole purpose for starting an account and posting content on social media is to get famous, the fun is gonna run out faster than you can imagine. Personally, I think I'll stick to YouTube because I feel like I understand what's going on the majority of the time, whereas TikTok, I have no idea what is going on. And it makes me feel really old. <laughs> but I think I will continue to post every now and then on TikTok because it is fun and it is a lot more lighthearted than YouTube. And in terms of like producing videos, it's a lot easier and a lot less time consuming. I also think it's important to note that from my personal experience, I do believe that it is a lot easier to grow an audience or gain a following on TikTok than it is on both YouTube and Instagram. So, my final thoughts. I think if I was to continue posting regularly, like I have been over the past couple of days, I could definitely grow my following a lot more than 600 followers. But, I have a concussion and I need to take time to heal and head injuries aren't really something that you want to mess around with too much. And as fun as social media is, it isn't the be all and end all of life. There are so many more important and fulfilling things in life than being internet famous. And I think it's important to remember that those who are internet famous aren't immune from struggling with their mental health or struggling with relationships, or struggling with stress. It would be great if social media was the antidote for any struggles that we face in real life, but unfortunately it's not. And in some cases, internet fame can provoke a whole heap of new struggles and challenges. But I'm not going to deny that it is quite amusing to post things just for fun. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's a lot different to the videos that I normally make, but it was a fun experiment and it was a fun way to pass time with the whole pandemic thing going on. Thank you so much for all your support on my TikTok and Instagram and YouTube. It really does mean the world to me. I hope you all are having a really great week and are staying safe despite the things that are going on in the world right now. And I'll see you in the next video very soon. Mm -hmm.